It is alleged that on that Thursday night, 46-year-old Benjamin Shivute and his 33-year-old wife engaged in a heated argument, resulting in the woman fleeing to a neighbor's house to seek protection. Her husband, however, followed her there, where he shot her three times before turning the gun on himself and resulting in his own death on the scene. His wife succumbed to injuries sustained on her way to the Oshakati Intermediate Hospital. In an interview with NBC News, the Oshana Police Regional Commander urged couples to seek amicable solutions to their problems and not to take death threats and violent acts lightly. She urged those in abusive relationships to report incidences of violence to the police to prevent their escalation. This one, it came as a shock to us because all over we did not receive any problem related to that family because uh, they did not even visit the, the gender-based violence protection subdivision to, to give their concern or problems so that the police officers, those who are dealing with the gender-based violence cases, they can intervene and uh, uh, give a sort of assistance or advice to them. She says family members and friends of people known to be suffering at the hands of their loved ones, whether female or male, should not turn a blind eye but tip of their family matriarchs or the police to allow for early intervention and possibly save a life. The commissioner also stressed the need for families to refrain from verbal and physical abuse in the presence of children as this has further detrimental consequences. It will uh, give bad image to the children when they grow up. They will not. They might not uh, forget. It will affect them through their entire life. Uh, because to see your mother, your father uh, doing something which is not right, shooting and killed, uh, and then that uh, picture, it won't go out easily from the children. Ndapanda Shuya, NBC News, Oshakati.